right. Shalom Israel. I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bashim Rakakwadash, the Buana to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to Lek out there doing his work of faith and labor of love and true sincerity. Right, I wanted to do another um, episode of of uh, uh, freely speaking or speaking freely, uh, might I say, uh, I think this episode uh, 10. And, um, you know, just pretty much, uh, you know, I was watching a couple of brothers' videos uh, concerning uh, persecution. You know, when a one brother's video uh, from Chicago and, you know, Esau actually called them. You know what I'm saying? And, and different stuff like that. You know, the brother was pretty much, you know, uh, cursing the devil out and, you know, uh, giving some uh, uh, good advice, you know, and, uh, you know, to brothers, you know what I'm saying, that about these times coming and things that's going to happen and how we are to be, you know. So I pretty much wanted to land back off of that because it was a, a, a Tawab blessing, you know. And, um, you know, pretty much that, you know, with uh, Esau calling brothers and, and different stuff like that. And I remember uh, also uh, brother in that, brothers in L.A., like uh, what Esau uh, what came to his job and they, you know, tried to stab him and hopped in the black car and, you know what I mean, took off and stuff like that. Yes, we are very, very near and dear to these times, man, you know. Very, very near and dear to these times. So the more mentally... We need to be more mentally and spiritually prepared, you know, for these things that are at hand, you know, especially when things really pop off, you know, you got to keep it in your head. Like, am I ready? Am I ready? Am I ready? You know, and, and praying, you know, that the Lord is going to be with you during those times. And, you know, uh, in Proverbs 3 and 25, it says, be not afraid of sudden fear, nor destruction when it come up nigh. You know, uh, cause what, when things happen, you know, when Esau really kicks everything off and he comes to get brothers or chop brothers heads off, however Esau plans on doing these things, it's going to come sudden. So say what, be not afraid of sudden fear, you know, because fear, it just comes out of, out of nowhere. That's why I so fear for the people. But since we know the way uh, these things are coming. We also know that our big brother Yahweh Shah is coming. So we're not going to be, we shouldn't be overtaken as a thief in the night, you know, uh, when Esau actually comes for us, you know, and may kick in our doors, you know, three or four, five in the morning, you know, take us from our homes, take us from our families, you know, and, and knowing the things that the scriptures say in the book of Luke, uh, the 21st chapter, uh, about, you know, our family. You know, basically uh, being enemies and turning against us. You know, because they they not ready, they not prepared for things how we are or we should be. You know, so it's a constant thing of you know knowing the times and just reminding yourself that this is serious. Shit is about to get serious. You know, as we see in you know uh, World War Three, keep being a uh, uh, spruced up. You know, everything with you know. Uh, Iran, Israel, all these other nations, you know, uh, Trump constantly, you know, talking his shit, okay, more things been growing up as, as of recently, you know, stuff be seeming like it may die down for a little bit, but then, you know, somebody says something else, and then it's like the, everybody's antennas are all up, you know, but we know that, uh, you know, we seeing little skirmishes and things, you know, uh, that's the beginnings of World War Three. You know, so some of these things are, are going to happen, you know, but ultimately we know that the, the end is not just just yet there, you know, because what ultimately we waiting for that chip. So when we really see that chip rolling around, you know, that's when the, the ultimate, you know, what I mean, the ultimate time is really going to kick in. That's when time is is really, really ticking, you know, because the chip is here, as we all know. But it just isn't being forced yet. But we're seeing uh, many things, and especially uh, how they're trying to constantly upgrade the technology and make things uh, more digital. And slowly but surely trying to do away, 
uh, with the money, you know? So with all these things, you know, that are uh, coming to pass, should we truly have worried? You know, the scriptures say in, in Timothy that the Lord have not uh, given us the spirit of fear, you know, but of a sound mind and sound doctrine. You know, a sound gets into balance. Our minds should be balanced, you know? When it comes to knowing the evils that are going to befall us and how we are to conduct ourselves, you know, in, in all uh, manner of persons, you know, because everything about, you know, uh, our family members and those that may be around us, when that time comes, you best believe they're going to be shitting bricks, man. You best believe they're going to be shitting bricks. You know, so also going into it with your family, you got to have in your mind, you know, that I know these people are going to turn against me. All I have, you know, is how about me out shot and the brotherhood, you know, but when that time's come, uh, it's only going to be you alone by yourself. And, you know, uh, scripture in Romans say, uh, have thou faith, have it to thyself first, you know, so that's what our faith is really going to be tested because best believe Esau is going to do things when we're isolated from one another because he know when we're together, uh, we're stronger. That And that's where any group, that's any group, period. You're always uh, stronger or people will seem a lot tougher when the numbers are up. You know, if you got 20, 30, you know, people with you, your faith is, is going to be to the max. So Esau want to make sure that he eliminates all of that by taking us separately, taking us individually and seeing where what we're really made of, you know. But that's when the time comes when, you know, the uh, those of the hopeful elect will prove themselves to be the elect when they stand stiffly for the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Lord willing, you know, uh, we'd be a part of that. Lord willing, I'd be a part of that, you know. So it's all a, a constant a building process that we see with these different things taking place. So we definitely have to, uh, you know, uh, prepare ourselves more and more for these things and not get too attached to the world. Of course, you know, we all still have our responsibilities and different things that we have to do, you know, especially, you know, if uh, your monetary situation, not uh, what it needs to be, you might have to work over time or you know what I mean temporarily and and different things like that you know you do what you got to do you know but your mind is always supposed to be towards your how about shimmy shot always towards the day of that great battle always towards you know uh the things in which the lord promised us you know uh second peter's 3 and 13 uh says uh uh here we uh we we look for a new heavens and a new earth so knowing that the Lord, Yahweh Shah, is preparing the heavens and stuff for us now, and we're looking forward to a new heaven and new earth, we got to be prepared to do all of those things to, to get there, okay? Because also, as the brother said in the video, like, uh, like pretty much like this is training. And when you go into uh, Hebrews uh, 12 and 5, and uh, it gets into the word tra chastening, you know, uh, it, the, the Greek word there is uh is either paidae or paidao, uh, you know, and it pretty much talking about the whole training and, and educating of children and uh, cultivating the mind. That's what it gets into. So this is definitely a training and, and that's our ultimate uh, battle, you know. That's when we're going to have to be really kicking up those war cries, so to speak, man. To your how about shimmy out shot when those times come, cause, cause that that's game time, man. That's like Le LeBron. Well, LeBron ain't that clutch like that, but that's like uh, MJ in the, in the in the fourth, man. You know, that's like MJ in the fourth. You gotta want the rock, and you gotta know that you're gonna pull through it by having that faith in the Lord. Your how about shimmy out shot, you know. And, and the number one thing that we can do, because uh, Matthews, uh, I believe it's Matthews 9 and 15 or 15 and 9, you know, when it talks about fasting, and that's our number one uh, fasting and prayer, and that's our number one defense, man, you know, so it behooves all of us to 
you know, more so uh, uh, fat, do spiritual fast and, and pray heavenly, you know, for the Lord to continually build us up for that times, man. You know, because that's how we're going to get through and calling upon that name, you know. So, um, you know, with that, you know, I just um, wanted to, you know, speak uh, my piece, you know, upon that, you know. And, um, you know, I hope this short segment was edifying. And I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahusha, Bashim Rakakwadash, the Buana to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to Lek out there, doing his work of faith and labor of love and true sincerity. Shalom.